It's Saturday, so it must be time for an adventure. We boxed up the flying car and took it across the state to Corman Airfield for an air show. We only had one hour to build it. We had to pull all the parts out of the trailer, get them in the hangar, and then anybody who wasn't nailed down actually got put to work. The process is actually pretty easy. You've got two wings, you've got a fuselage, and you basically have to bolt them all together. The end result is a flying car. At the end of each wing, you have something called a winglet. The winglets have to be bolted in in a star pattern. You don't want to over tighten any of the screws. The black fly is actually amphibious and that means it can land on water. And each one of those winglets is a float. Once it's constructed, we put it on a cart and wheel it out of the hangar. Then we have to do pre-flight. Pre-flight means you walk around the entire vehicle and check every last thing. This is only our second time building this thing and people are already streaming into the air show. Everyone is curious. They gather around everywhere we go. No matter how much other cool stuff is going on, we're always the center of attention. People have an endless stream of questions. I mean, think about it. Up until now, transportation has been airplanes and helicopters. And they require airports. And let's not forget cars. Cars require roads. The Black Fly is literally the first flying car that can take off right from your front yard, go to the store, and fly home again. It doesn't require an airport, and it doesn't require roads. Okay, so sure, the battery power only lasts 20 minutes, and it only goes 20 miles on a charge, and a charge takes 40 minutes to recharge. That's not much, but this is the first one. This is the start of the revolution into the air. A lot of people who go to fly-ins are pilots because they flew their own airplanes in. All you need is a driver's license to fly the flying car.